guys. Hey guys. We're back and for the very first time we're doing a video game review. So this is very different for us. Tonight we're reviewing Pokemon Go. Yes, we jumped on that fad with no regrets None. and no apologies. <laughs> it is so much fun. Yes, it's a lot of fun. Oh it's, my gosh, yeah. Uh, tonight, and, and last night as well, but tonight we went down to uh, Coco Village. It's not too far from us. It's and like a historic area if you're yeah. not from where we are. It's like a historic district, so there's tons of Pokestops because all the little historic landmarks and there's some parks, they all have Pokestops, so there's a bunch. There's, I don't know, probably 30 Pokestops yeah. in, in the area, and I don't know, three or four gyms, Yeah. and tons of Pokemon. Yes. So let's talk about our experience tonight. First of all, Coco Village is gorgeous, so yes. you're walking around this beautiful area, and it's so much fun, and there's probably, what, five or six hundred other people playing oh Pokemon yeah. Go as well. It's, it's been like completely packed yeah. both times we've come and as you'll see um you know groups of friends together obviously but you also get like families like the yeah. kids with their parents and you know the parents are playing but they'll stop when they see one and the kids help them catch it it's it's awesome it's fantastic yeah, it, it's it's a lot of family time out yeah. there as well which is really nice to see a lot of people bringing their pets along a lot mm -hmm. of dogs and stuff a lot and, of oh, dogs getting walks that they didn't used to get yeah probably <laughs> Um, the, the, you know, the, there's a joke going on, you know, Pokemon Go solving childhood obesity. Yeah. And it's, I mean, tonight, I mean, what would we have done if we didn't go to Coco Village and walk around and play Pokemon Go? We probably would have been on the couch watching TV. So, yes, it does definitely make you more active, yeah. which is fantastic. Off, off. And not only that is, in Florida, it's really, really hot and it's really, really humid. Mm -hmm. And we were dying tonight because we went out a little bit earlier, so it was really hot and sweaty and had we just went for a walk we would have given up way mm -hmm. earlier than we did tonight it is it keeps your mind occupied so you can't you're not really thinking about how hot and miserable you are it's like every once in a while when you stop you're like damn it's really hot yeah and then when you're like oh my god a beedrill yeah yeah <laughs> and 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 your, your mind you know forgets that you're sweating your butt off <laughs> <laughs> And you're very uncomfortable because your mind is just preoccupied with this other stuff. So, what did we experience in Pokemon Go tonight? Well, the glitches are still there. They're still yes. ironing out a few things. Yeah. Um, every once in a while, like, the GPS just stops. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you're like you're trying to get a Pokestop, and you're like, it's not working. Well, let me restart the app. And then that usually solves it. Yeah. Um, thankfully, tonight we didn't have any server crashes. So, we were out from about 6 o'clock until about 8 o'clock around eight right yeah, yeah about eight. eight and we had zero server crashes so that was fantastic um yeah. a couple of glitches and the glitches did get worse as it got later so like the more people getting on the servers the more likely the glitches were happening um but they weren't as bad as the night before so no. M monday night last night it was ju it was almost unplayable yeah because the servers were crashing you you'd, you'd get booted off and then you couldn't get back on and i don't know probably around what 8 8 30 last night it was it was basically unplayable yeah um tonight we we, we left the park at eight o'clock and by by then things were were still pretty smoothly sailing yeah yeah all right so the pokemon we caught tonight among others these are kind of the highlights yes. of our night and the ones that we remember to press the record button for <laughs> yes we, we both download apps to record the gameplay on our phones so we're actually able to share some of this with you yes which is great um, first of all, the Charmander. I had a full-on freaking war with this Charmander. <laughs> Charmander was my first Pokemon when I started the game. I didn't, you know, do the, the trick to get the Pikachu because I didn't know about it. So I got a Charmander. And the Charmander I got tonight smokes that Charmander like a freaking thing you smoke. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a full-on war and I won it.
battle with Charmander was way less of a battle. It took me like two or three tries and a raspberry, and I got it almost immediately. Um, Show off. Yeah. <laughs> Ponita, 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 you pronounce it. Yes. We are not Pokemon aficionados. No. So no. if we don't know the name of a Pokemon or we mispronounce it or something, just correct us down in the yeah, comments. Yeah. That's totally cool. Yeah, spell it out phonetically for us. We would really like to be saying yeah. these correctly. Like, there was more than once we were walking around tonight going, there's a two-headed ostrich over there. Let's go get it. <laughs> and they're like, dude, you're an idiot. And I'm like, I don't, don't know, know Pokemon anymore. Yeah. I, I knew it really well back in the day when it first started and I ran the league at the local bookstore. I knew it backwards and forwards then and all that has just left my brain. But yeah, the, the Ponyta, absolutely gorgeous Pokemon. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, we saw this and I was like, I have to have this. And I think I got it, like, right away. It didn't take me much at all. I got it, like, almost instantly. And it was really, really surprising because it was just a regular Pokeball. And um, I think you, I only used, like, one Raspberry, maybe two. But I, like, got it. It was, like, 400-something. Like, the CP was outrageous. And I was like, yes, I got it. And it's so pretty. So pretty, pretty. <laughs> which is it's the same one they both but mine spawned on top of a Pidgey so <laughs> it was getting to it was really tough and it was right at a poke spot too so actually clicking on the ponies off for me was really really hard but I got it and I and I did I beat it and <laughs> I now I, I caught a pony top <laughs> I was a new one. I hadn't gotten one of those before. Um, 
that was, that was pretty smooth sailing. It's it, the only thing that I was like, I spawned and I hit the record and then I went to catch it and it was gone. I was like, where is it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that happens actually quite a bit when we're trying to record because you got to exit the app to start. Well, when, when I first started, I thought I had to exit the app to start recording and then go back into it. And then when you go back into it, the Pokemon's in a different spot and you're going like this, <laughs> going, where is it? But then I figured out how to start recording while you're still in the app. So less troubles there. <laughs> scouted out an Abra and I remember Abra from back in the day playing the card game and Abra is a pain in the butt and I was like gotta have mm -hmm. so I scored an Abra and I'm really excited about that Also, both scored Scythers. Yes. Anna forgot to record it, but I got mine. I hit the record and I started doing it and it glitched on me so I, I had to um, exit out and re go back in and then when I re went in it was still there thankfully and I did get it but I didn't turn the record back on. <laughs> Scyther, it glitched on me, and I had to re close the app, go back into it, and check to see if I had caught it or if I was going to have to fight it again. And so, but I did catch it. So yeah, the, the glitches are very many. There yes. are several yeah. glitches, but they're they're getting better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, slowly but surely, they're getting better. Yeah, for sure. And finally, we both scored a gold duck tonight. And uh, did you record yours? Nope. I recorded my gold duck, so we'll show you that now. And oh my gosh, when I saw that thing spawn outside the restaurant, I was like, oh! And you were like, what's the matter? What's going on? <laughs> I was like, what? Where? What? Like, gold duck right here. And I'm.
Yeah, I was really excited. That would probably, for me, be the catch of the night was the gold duck. The scyther was up there too, though. Yeah. yeah. Ponyta. Ponyta. Ponyta was, Ponyta. Ponyta was a pretty Pokemon. Yes. As far as a Pokemon, I, was, I didn't expect to just pop up as we're standing around just doing nothing. The gold duck, that was a big surprise yeah. and, to me, catch of the night. <laughs> and I have tried numerous times to get a Beedrill and have been unsuccessful because it's a little piece of crap that I'm going to punch in his face. But tonight I was able to catch enough of the um, Weedles to evolve my um, Kakua Kakuna into a Beedrill, so that was really super exciting. Yeah. Beedrill this morning or yesterday morning I don't remember I, I was at the actual gym you know doing a workout not not, not a poker <laughs> gym I was actually at the gym on the track actually and a Beedrill popped right in front of me and I was like oh and a, the, the people on the track were like dude what are you doing I was like I'm catching a Beedrill I gotta get this Beedrill man get out of the way dude I'm catching a Beedrill but uh but that's how I got mine um I I don't remember from you know before what evolves into what so every once in a while when i catch something i'm like okay what does that evolve into and i have to go look at the chain yeah so uh oh my gosh we're having so much oh, fun so much with fun. this app if you're not playing pokemon go and you were ever into yeah. pokemon uh, even if you weren't yeah 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 it's, <laughs> and it's don't not try it because it's popular and you don't want to jump on the bandwagon. Yeah. Don't do that to yourself because I almost didn't try it because everybody was po uh, posting about it. And I was like, well, let me just see what this is all about. And I got hooked, like, immediately. And then I got him hooked. And I would have been really mad if I didn't mm -hmm. try it and then, like, try it later. And I've missed out on all this time and everybody's, like, level 5,000. I'm on level 2 because I didn't try it when it first came out. All right, I'm pretty sure that's it for this video. If you're playing Pokemon Go, I would love to know what you think. What's your greatest catch? Let us know down in the comments. <laughs> also, if you enjoyed this video, and we really hope you did, be sure to tell us by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and go catch them all.